Hello everybody, it is I, Super Paul Games. How are you doing? Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We're just taking a quick look kind of around the globe. Taking a look at Iceland. The Nordic countries. Apparently Mercia's expanded to here. From over here. Glacia continues to be strong in the south. Ireland's kind of trying to reform. Jorvik is. West Francia seems to be at peace, at least within itself. With their little child queen. As is Aquitaine. Interesting. Asterius and Italy are making ground into Moorish Muslim Spain. Italy seems to be having a civil war of its own. How's that going for you, bro? Uh, King is winning it. The war score is in favor of him by 44%. Um, the Holy Roman Empire is next to us. Um, they're fighting in the Italian Revolt. Those guys like to help each other fight. See, the Abbasids are pretty strong. There's uh, some sort of revolt there. The Byzantines, thank God, are minding their own business. Take a quick look at India. Didn't there used to be some sort of red co country around here? I don't remember. But for us, our biggest primary concerns are stopping the rebellion here and the revolt here. Braslikoslav of the Old Tengri Uprising has declared the Croatian Old Tengri Revolt and King Drislav the Already. Another one? The Old Tengri heretics have risen up at Bransky, led by a militant fanatic. If not swiftly crushed, this revolt could spread like wildfire. Where is that? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Somewhere. Uh, Croatian Old Tangry Revolt. Now I feel so stupid. <laughs> Look, where the fuck are you from, dude? Oh, well, we'll figure it out eventually. We might not. We're such a big country that I might be like, I don't even know where that is. Oh, wait, there he is. So let's see. Bransky, or Bransky is the old Tangri faith. That's a problem. So we're going to dispatch our chaplain dude. Oh, that's not how I meant to do it. All right, Dan, we want you to proselytize there. My liege, I have pleased to report that your errant subject, Gregana Dictopolis, is converted to the Tangri face. Faith. That was fast. I don't know who that is, but I assume he's in the court of this guy. I don't see him. Or maybe that was the last report from the place he was leaving. Either way, keep that up there, holy shaman dude. Convert those bastard sons. While we are at it, though, we better go to the military. We better raise up our own troops again. Our personal ones. We're going to let the vassal's troops stay home. And then we're going to get ready to head towards the rebels to put down another rebellion. I swear, a king's work is never done. Wow, these little sons of bitches got out of the way. We were supposed to be going that way anyway. Poor Drislav, he just wants peace and he's got to fight bastard after bastard. Thank God the independence faction is all the way down to 19%. Hmm. You know what? It's time for Drislav, since we're fighting these wars anyway, to get rid of anyone that absolutely doesn't like him that's his vassal. So let's find the vassals who hate him the most. Oh, those are the ones who love him. These are the guys who hate him the most. We have two at 100%. This guy here. Is there any chance we can imprison you or revoke your title? Oh, we can! You're a traitor! You fought against us! Why can't I? Can I just imprison you? Uh, try to imprison High Chief, 34% chance of success. If we fail, he might declare war on us or flee, since the High Chief has acted dishonorably towards you, no one will care. My guards have failed to capture him, who has now raised his flag in rebellion. 
So we have a claim on Kiev because of that? Actually, I think that accidentally took care of our rebels there. Didn't it? I don't see them. Oh wait, no, they were further along. I pay very good attention to these things, apparently. How many troops did he have? See, one of his dudes has no troops. This dude has 191 troops. This little kid has hardly any troops. Oh, this is perfect timing. Yeah, we'll just have everybody kind of meet in Kiev. Take this guy out. We have finished a war against Giselle Jizzy Bantz right here. The third war against the tyranny of King Drizlov the Unready has ended. Dude, you were such an idiot. Time to revoke some titles. Hi, Chief. Nobody's going to care because you're a traitor. Um, Chiefdom, nobody's going to care because you're a tribal barbarian. We're going to revoke uh, this other Chiefdom. Nobody's going to care because you're a barbarian. We'll revoke the last. Nobody's going to care because you're a barbarian. Have fun in prison. Try not to have too much butt sex. All right, so now we have way more areas than we need. So let's figure out who's got these. Okay, this one's the king's got. Sir Daria. Let us give them to somebody. I swear, like, if you're Tangri and Bulgarian, just by dumb luck, because we're such a small group, you're going to get land. There you go. Happy birthday. Have a good day. And I believe all three of the No. These two. So give Bulgard to somebody? Who should get it? It's gotta be somebody who likes us. Yeah, this guy, the spy master, somebody spy master. Oh, and he loves us now! Well, he doesn't quite love us, but whatever. He wants the Duchy of Bulgar? Uh, give me a second, dude. I'm, I'm gonna think about it. Maybe. Maybe. If you're nice. If you buy me some candy. We're running out of people to give this stuff to. <laughs> Dare I give it to a lady? Wait, no, we can give it to the commander of Plock. You, sir, can have Bulgar. And then, you know what? You're nicer. I'm going to give you the duchy. Put you in charge of the, all that area. And then, do you report to me directly? No, you report to him as you should. Excellent. I probably ought to create one more duchy, but I want to be careful money-wise. It'd be nice if we could go up there and kill those rebels there. 140 troops, that's not quite enough to feel safe about it. Because I'd kind of love to be able to pull my retinue back. Because this is mostly my retinue protecting the eastern part of the kingdom. So who else are we fighting? Oh. Oh, I got confused. I was going to be like, look, the thing in Kiev got solved. They're like, no, sir, it's still going on. Oh, okay. That's all right. All right, Drizlov's getting up there, though. He's 60. Who else in our court does, or our, our vassals does not like us? Why don't you like us? Where are you? Oh, because I murdered somebody in your family. You're a heretic. We're going to revoke your title. Oh, no. People will... I thought he was a... What? He's tribal. Usually we can get away with that, can't we? No, that'll make the other vassals mad. All right, we're going to leave him there. We could try and get him killed. Oh, there's a really strong chance that would succeed. We'll just let anybody join. For some reason, a lot of people hate him. I don't know why. 
A son was born, Prince Impo. Oh! And Rog and her named Artar's daughter. And they named the child Drizlov. Oh, after the grandpa. That's so cute. Look at all these people who've joined this plot. <laughs> Holy fuck. The independence faction has gone all the way down to 14%. And say, why is there a defeat? Oh, my co conspirator, High Chief Yelen of Smolensky, has let me know that Chief Koz of Turkestan will die by poison wine at an oncoming banquet. Classic! That's a good feeling. So, who else doesn't like the king? Moses McDick Grabber. Can we revoke any of your stuff and imprison you? No. Apparently he wasn't a traitor. So we have captured the tribal region of Kiev. Let us merge these two guys. We'll have them. Yeah, we'll attack that little army. Then we'll go right through to Turkov. Failure! The chief cause of Turkestan did not die! Did not drink the wine and my conspiracy was complicit or discovered. Yeah, well, I tried to murder, dude, whatever. You do what you have to do. My co-conspirator, Chief German, has procured a poisonous viper and sends word that he will soon dig his fans into Chief Koza. That's how much they hate that guy. That's how much they hate Chief Koza, that there's somebody else next in line. He's like, I've got a poison. First guy's like, I got poison wine. The next guy's like, I got a poison snake. I believe the defeat was in the east of some tribal region where they got that 84 man army walking around. Pain in my buttocks! Yep, there we go. What territory are you going to? Bailar? We're gonna beat you there. Success! The snake performed its duty with a plume and plumped Chief Koza, full of its deadly venom. It slipped away into the night because it had busy snake things to do. And the guards are now too busy contending with a string of lethal snake attacks to search for those responsible. I could kiss that snake. Well, maybe not. Drizlav wants to make up with a snake. Uh, Drizlav the Unready succeeded with the plot to kill Chief Koza of Turkestan. I wonder what his son thinks of us. He hates us too. Why? Just because we killed your dad? Attempted murder, parent my ass. How many siblings do you have? Alright, we'll just get rid of you too. Unless we can just revoke your title. Nope, the other people wouldn't be cool with it, so we'll just kill you. My liege, my listen to Vatiak has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of the High Chief of Perm, I managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you are. He's not the kid I just try to get killed, is it? No, it's a different kid. All right, our army will ch chase or get in there into the territory on the 16th of February. They will get out on the 26th of February. So we should be able to end that rebellion. Chief Borgeswala of Shurgenov, let everyone know about my plot to kill Chief Savin of Turkestan during a drunken stupor, stupor at a local tavern. I never should have included that drunken blabbermouth in this delicate plot. Yeah, I don't really care. Good news, my other co-conspirator, High Chief Yunlin of Smolensk, has let me know that Chief Savin of Turkestan will soon have a tragic fall off the castle parapets. This is how I imagine it. It's a little kid here. Rather than him tripping, the other side, an adult just picks him up and throws him off. Ah! Fly, little bird, fly. He can be free as a bird as he free falls. Victory! Alright, that rebellion is done. We have put down the revolt. The peasant revolt for Sergei has ended and King Drizlov of Croatia has won. Why do we not hold this? Most excellent. Where are you guys all going? You should go to Corson. You guys can merge together.
Just trying to put down these revolts and get rid of all the people that hate the king. Oh, now more people do. My wife, Helby, was captivated by the grace and strength of the hunting birds and begged me for a bird. I think that the king would be awesome. He loves his hot wife. He's like a falcon would say, wait, you, you cheated. You've got the pox. No, you don't get anything. You get nothing. No fizzy lifting drink. Nothing. They're too dangerous, my love, because you're too busy being a whore. You might get lost in your whore vagina. King out. Yeah, we're not putting up with that. <laughs> I have been regularly co corresponding with my half-brother, Vasily. And I always make sure to see him whenever I get the chance. It's a harsh word. World and family must stick together. Then we can both talk about having had sex with the same woman. Oh, that stupid kid dodged the assassin again. My king, I'm pleased to report the majority of the population in Skazafarar has been converted to the Tangri faith. Excellent. Where was that? Oh. My co-conspirator shaman, a lady on, has bribed the hunter taking Chief Seven on a trip into the wilds to quietly dispatch the child and make it look like an accident. That poor kid. If he survives this, maybe I'm just going to leave him alone. So Turkestan... Wait, no, where was that? Oh, it was over here, right? Wait, that's where he was working. Oh, no, you know what that probably means? It probably means the local area they just told us about changed because of the local people we put in charge. Because we put Tanger guys in charge of everything. It means... This is the territory here, I believe. This guy here who's Tangri, finally, with our reformed religion, he was able to convince everyone else in the area to be Tangri for the first time in a long time. Areas are converting to blue, and by that I mean singular area. Our moral authority is 73.1. No one defies the goose god. Aww. That is just too fun to do. I'm sorry. It's, I don't care if it's annoying. I love it. Yeah, I know, you little rebel bastards. High Chief Tugor of Bolgar has usurped the high titled High Chief of Bolgar from Chief Akam. Uh, uh, you guys, always with the usurpings. Alright, hopefully we can finally pull this army back into the central part of the country. Success! The hunter did what he was paid for and made sure Chief Seventh never returned from the hunting trip. He'll keep quiet about his ghastly deed to save his own skin, if anything else. To hunt a man is truly the greatest sport. Child, not so much, but whatever. Still, so many people that don't like him. Why don't you like him? Did we kill your family? Oh, we did kill people in your family. Look, see, the thing about that is... I'm not really sorry. Ooh, he's a tribal barbarian. What's he in charge of? Right there? Perfect. Why don't we... The crown authority of the high chief allows revocation? Why can't I do that? Is it because I have troops in that territory? We will find out momentarily. Yes, we got rid of that one guy. Success somewhere else. I think it's in Kiev. Yep, we took that there. In fact, why don't we have you join with this body, and then we'll move them up to attack the rebels. And in fact... My liege, my mission to Vadiak has so far been a success. During my visit to the court of the High Chief of Perm... I've managed to make him see what a benevolent, peaceful ruler you really are. He sends his regards. Maybe I should have you um, befriend somebody else that doesn't like us. What about you? Where are you, good sir? You're here in Bercy. You want... Know I know exactly what we're going to do. Oh, no, this guy really hates us. Can we kill him? Oh, yes! Excellent. We get, we get rid of him, and that'll solve a lot of our problems. 
A betrothed King Mary? Our vassal? I don't know who she is. Whatever. Oh, she's marrying her son Earl. <laughs> King Drizlov goes to the wedding and he sees the bride. And he's like, I don't know who you are. Are you related to me? And then his son is right next to her. He's like, Dad, Dad. Oh, hey, Earl, what are you doing? It's my, my wedding, Dad. You hooked this up. Oh, cool. Uh. My prisoner, shut up. That's what you can do is you can shut up, prisoner. All right, we have finished our war for Kiev against this guy, but not the unready. We'll enforce the demands. The second revolt against the rule of King Drizlav the unready has ended. And we have won. You, sir, are going to lose your title, High Chieftain of Kiev. Well, why can't I revoke it? Are you kidding me? The Crown Authority of the High Chieftain of Kiev allows revocation. What? We, we were just revoking stuff. Can I have him ex Can I have banished? No, the other vassals won't like it. Can I have him executed? Oh, that's going to lower stuff. We're going to put him in the oubliette, at least temporarily, to try and encourage him dying. And let's get all of our armies to merge there. Someone wants to arrange in marriage? Wait, I thought her son was... No, wait, they got married. So much going on, it's hard to keep up with it all. Alright, we'll have our retinue come meet you up there. My prisoner, yes, whatever. Let's look at the factions. Okay, the independence faction is down to 18%. Only a bunch of losers there. This dweeb wants to be in charge of himself. Oh. It is difficult being king. We murder one person and then the family gets mad. What's up? And then we murder their kids and they get mad. Wait, do we have a plot to kill somebody else going on? Oh, we do. <laughs> so many murder plots. It's hard to keep track of them all. Well, that's the end of this episode. Kind of zoom out. Drizlov's doing okay. He's 61. Still consolidating power from the constant issues of people not being happy with him. But he's made major changes to the country, honestly. You know, we used to be a part of the Holy Roman Empire, and he declared independence, and he totally changed the religion, and he's made some really major changes, and not everybody's liked it, but they've learned it's his way or the highway. I'm on the highway myself. Vroom, vroom. I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>